hello and good evening good evening everybody i hope everybody has had an amazing monday and even greater weekend um i'm so happy to be with you guys another monday um this week we are going to be talking about um some locusts locusts um i'm really excited about this study because it's one that's a little bit out of the box um but at the same time um it really encourages us to get a little knowledge and understanding um of the word um this one actually be coming from joel chapter 2 verses 25 to 27 um and i'm just excited um to be doing this another week um you know, into this pandemic, as much as we are, I feel like um, it can be easy to start something and then over time have it kind of dwindle down to nothing. Um, and there has been weeks where I felt like, uh, do I want to do it this week or should I do it this week or is the um, participation going to be there? But nevertheless, I'm going to continue to do um what i've been led to do um whether there's the participation or not the show must go on um it's not about the participation it's about the message um and so like i said this week we'll be dealing with the swarming creeping stripping and the gnawing um hey um i i didn't see any other names i see mariah hey mariah um i need that hoodie <laughs> listen you know i'm a regret freak um but yeah this week's lesson is going to be really good i can't wait to really dive into this and i'm not going to delay any longer um so i'm gonna pray this in really quickly and i'm gonna go ahead and get into it hello to everybody else that's here um only one name came up um if you want me to acknowledge you um you can always put your information in there um so yeah let's get there where did i get it um gabe's hey dar <laughs> okay lord we thank you for the time that you've given us together thank you um for allowing us once again to come into agreement with your word god i ask that angel will decrease increase in me make the word plain for the hearer and the listener in jesus name we pray amen hey tia hey mikey hey cousin y'all ain't hear that um, tell Javon stop calling my phone. <laughs> um, so swarming, creeping, stripping, and gnawing. Swarming, creeping, stripping, and gnawing. Listen, I need for y'all to get this message. Um, so Joel 2, 25 to 27. Okay, um, I'm going to read this really quickly. I'm coming out of the Amplified version. And my daughter is pulling my stuff. Like, what is going on? Okay, sorry, y'all. Um, and it says, and I will compensate you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the creeping locust, the stripping locust, and the gnawing locust, my great army which I sent among you. You will have plenty to eat and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. And you shall know without any doubt that I am in the midst of Israel to protect and bless you and that I am the Lord your God and there is no other. My people will never be put to shame. And I feel like this actual um, study is a timely one for this time period that we find ourselves in with um, the pandemic, um, with the world and chaos with people not really knowing um you know what's going on out here um trying to figure out a path trying to understand everything um so um as i do any other week i'm gonna give it to you the way god gave it to me um if you have anything to add or anything you can always put it in the comments hello to anybody coming in now um so i'm just gonna go ahead and get into this so in the United States, hey, how are you? In the United States, um, you do not hear much talk about locusts. It's, it's not 
something that's common to the United States. So you don't hear a lot of talk about Lucas. Um, that's because North America is one of the only continents besides Antarctica that doesn't have a native locust species. Um, at one point, there was a Rocky Mountain species of locust, but they have since become extinct. And so locusts, if we know anything about locusts, locusts cause great devastation. They cause great devastation. Hey, dad and mom, locusts cause great devastation in the Bible times. And they were characterized by consuming crops and leaving fields of land to lay waste in the midst of their attacks. And so although we may not have physical locusts in the United States, many Christians have metaphorical lo locusts in their lives that are swarming, creeping, stripping, and gnawing. Okay? Bear with me, y'all. I'm getting somewhere with this. And so those metaphorical um, locusts that we have gnawing, stripping, creeping, and swarming, um, they're, they're doing this at our anointing. And these individuals that are like the locusts um, come into our lives and leave our situations in shambles. Ooh, y'all, listen. <laughs> um, they leave you like a wasteland. But just like God told the prophet Joel, he is going to compensate us for the years that the locust has eaten. Amen. <laughs> so swarming. Swarming is a behavior characterized by the species of similar sizes getting together, milling about the same spot. And they travel such a great distance, rapidly stripping fields and greatly damaging crops. And there are people that enter our lives and they, and they come in swarms, right? They come in these swarms and they are milling around and they go to great lengths to strip your field. Whew, this gonna y'all y'all gonna have to talk to me with this one because this one is this one gets good. They want to damage the call on your life that God has placed there. They can't move of their own accord. They desire to be in groups because it's their goal to destroy your image. And the enemy is using them to assemble a group in order to damage your crops. And we have to get to a place in our walk where we can discern the swarming locusts in our lives. It's, oh, I mean, it's, it's, I, it never fails. <laughs> it never fails. Somebody always calling me in my study. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. And so we have to get to a place in our work where we can discern the swarming locusts in our lives. Watch those individuals that are banding together to try and destroy your crop. Watch out. Um, your crop is the calling that God has placed on your life. Your crop is your ministry, and God is about to restore your ministry from the individuals who served to be the locust in your life. <laughs> okay, that locust is about to get its eviction notices. Um, so he's about to give you back what was stolen from you through backbiting and lying and manipulation. He's about to bring you back to right standing. Now we're going to get to the creeping. So creeping locust describes the locust that is, what was the scripture? Um, Joel, Joel 2. Um, let me go back up real quick. Sorry. I usually put it in the chat, but I think this chapter, I, just, I don't want to get too far away from. I don't know how long it's going to take. I didn't really practice it. Joel 2, 25 and 27. 25 through 27, if somebody wants to put it in the chat. Joel 2, 25 through 27. All right, so we talked about the swarming locusts. So now, the creeping locust describes the locust that is in its solitary phase. Okay, it's in its solitary phase. And during this time, they are an unassuming insect, meaning they are not that remarkable. They are able to camouflage and blend into the background and walk slowly with a low, creeping gait. And we have to be mindful of the creeping locusts in our lives that are keeping a low profile, right? They're keeping a low profile. 
and blending into your team. Watch for them people that's keeping a low profile and blending in your team. The ones that seem unremarkable, right? The ones that don't seem to pose that much of a problem. Oh, he's harmless. He can't do much. Watch them men. Watch those individuals. The ones that seem harmless because these locusts grow into swarming locusts if we aren't careful. So when you allow that creeping locust to creep into your team, then they develop into the swarm. So be careful of that. And these locusts are easy to blend into our lives seamlessly. And if we aren't careful, they will grow into something bigger and pose a bigger problem to your ministry that you didn't foresee. Okay? <laughs> they seem harmless enough, right? Because they don't appear to pose a problem. But when we learn to discern the Holy Spirit, when we learn to know the heart of Christ, we begin to hear that voice telling us that something is not for us. That voice telling us that the individuals that are creeping into our lives, those individuals that are creeping in our backgrounds, are now trying to evolve into something bigger that can cause a great deal of harm in your life if you allow them to get around the other locusts. <laughs> we have to develop the heart of Christ that begins to cut off the branches in our life that don't bear fruit. Um, we have to stop carrying around the dead weight. In our lives those individuals that are holding on to you because of the anointing that you carry and we have to shed the spiritual locusts in our lives we have to shed them <laughs> so if you're not careful those creeping locusts turn into swarming locusts so you know, you have those ones that are creeping in the background, but then you have the swarming ones that can easily influence that one creeping. And next thing you know, he's a part of the swarm. Amen. All right. So then we have the stripping locusts. I'm almost done. It was only four. Um, but this is good. I need y'all to get this. <laughs> um, so the stripping locusts are large bands of nymphs and swarms in adult form, both of which can travel great distances rapidly stripping fields and greatly damaging crops okay are you aware of the people that are stripping you in this season are you aware of the individuals that you deal with that once you disconnect from speaking with them or communicating with them you feel depleted you ever get around somebody and you just feel like they suck all the energy out of you you like ugh. Like, I don't even know why I entertain that person. I could think of a few people, but I don't even go there. But there's always some individuals where it's like, you know, you leave the situation and you feel like you just lost some of yourself. This is this kind of locus. Um, so watch for the people that leave you feeling bare. Watch for those people that leave you feeling bare. There are individuals that the enemy is sending after you who serve to strip you of the power of the Holy Spirit. They desire to strip you of your anointing. They serve to try and leave you bare and exposed before the world. Their only purpose in your, in, in your life is to damage your spiritual crop. They want to destroy your ministry. They want to destroy your ministry. But take heart because God is in total control and he is working on your behalf and he is able to supply all of your needs. You need only to rest in him. You need only to believe in him. You need only to cast your cares on him. You need only to leave your burdens with him. Stop giving your problems to people who can't help you. Stop giving your problems to people who can't help you. Stop telling people what God desires for you to share with them. Let go and let God. And finally, we have the gnawing locust. The gnawing locust. The word gnawing is a type of chewing. And so when we, when I began to start looking up synonyms of the word, I came up with a burden distress, worry, nag, torment, torture, and trouble. And the gnaw and locusts in your life are the individuals that are literally eating away at your soul. 
they're eating away at your soul. They come into your life and they bring you a burden, right? People that come into your life and bring you a burden. They worry and nag you. Their very presence torments and troubles you. But I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind it. I bind that gnawing locust spirit right now. These individuals cannot have control over your situation or circumstances. I dare you to say that right now. They can't have control. Those individuals cannot take your joy. Those individuals will not be a burden on you because God is about to move them out of your life. He is about to reveal all of the locusts that is hiding in your life. He is about to use you mightily and show you where the locust is swarming. He's going to show you where the locust has been creeping in the background, just blending in, waiting to meet up with the other locusts and band together to take out your crop. There are people out here who are banding together to take out your ministry. Their sole purpose is to damage your ministry. They want to damage your crops, but God is stepping into your situation and he is turning it around in your favor. It's time to destroy the locusts that are plaguing your life. It's time to handle the problem before they come swarms. Stop letting these creeping locusts become swarms. <laughs> we have to destroy them while they're creeping. Where is their locust looming in your situations? Look at your situation right now and ask yourself, do I have some locusts? Is there something swarming? Is there something creeping? Is there something stripping me and gnawing me? Um, and ask God to reveal the locusts in your life and give you the strength to remove them today. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Like, when I begin to go over Joel, um, and I don't know if you guys who are here today um, have been here in the beginning, um, but I actually did Joel. He was one of the minor prophets, um, and I did series on all the minor prophets. And one day, as I was studying and meditating, God gave me swarming, creeping, stripping, and gnawing. And each one of these locusts has a different purpose. And if we look at our lives, we can see areas where each of these things, and it's not necessarily locusts, that's why I said these are metaphorical locusts in our life, because there are individuals who are swarming, right? Um, and I don't know if you were here from the beginning, you might not get the metaphor. You can go back and watch. It's not that long. Um, but the, the swarming locusts, they come in groups and they destroy you. So these are the groups of people that's coming in and are trying to destroy you. They're trying to throw dirt on your name. And then you have those creeping ones. So you have those ones that are hiding in your camp. Those people that are acting like they're for you, but really they're secretly plotting against you. And if you aren't careful, they're going to get to the swarm and they're going to become a part of that group. And then you have the stripping locusts. Those individuals that are in your life that are just taking everything, that are depleting you of all your energy, of all your resources that are just taking and taking and taking from you. And then there's the gnawing ones. That come and they and they become a burden. They leave a burden on you. And right now, and I ask that you would just get in that place with God. And get to a place where you ask him to reveal the hidden locusts in your life. To reveal those things that are stripping your ministry. That are depleting you. That are becoming a burden on you. And begin to remove those obstacles out of your life. So that you begin to walk in the purpose that he's giving you. So that's it, y'all. That's it. Y'all know me. Hit it and be done. Um, I pray that you were able to grab something from this lesson today. Um, when God gave me, I'm not a preacher, but God speaks through me. Um, the goal was to be able to give a perspective of a Christian, right? Somebody who God can speak to. Um, and, and understand that I'm not perfect. Um, I'm progressing every day. Um, I have the same struggles as a lot of people, maybe even more. Um, but I'm aware of God's voice. I'm aware of his, I'm aware of the Holy Spirit. 
talking to me and through me. And when he gives me guidance and wisdom, um, I had the mind to write it down. And um, part of this whole Bible study series that I've been doing for the past, I don't even know how long now, it's been a while. Um, but part of it is just sharing um, what God gave me and my study time with him. And um, I just want to share with the world. Um, so these past, you know, couple months or so have been chapters from this book that I wrote. Um, I finished it last year. I wanted to put it out last year, but God was, he wasn't ready yet. And um, the goal is to maybe get it out this year. Um, but I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to rush it. Um, made sense. Okay. <laughs> so, but, um, you know, um, I learn as I go to um, the point in me saying that. I learn as I go. Um, there's things that I've wrote for the book um, that are relevant for me here and now. And so every week as I bring forth a chapter, I'm actually learning as I go to. Um, I, I never want to get to a place where I feel like I've arrived in God. I will never be there until I make it to the heavens. So I pray you guys were blessed today. And I pray you guys will tune in next week. And I'm going to go ahead and pray us out. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this lesson that went forth this week. We thank you for being in this situation, God. We ask that you bless those that will watch later. We ask that you bless those that are watching now, God. Give them clarity. Give them wisdom. Give them understanding to find the stripping, the swarming, the creeping locusts in their life, God. And turn it over to you, God, and give you control over every situation in their life that's not like you. We bind the enemy's attacks on our ministries right now. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I pray you guys will tune in next Monday. Um, until then, be blessed and watch for them locusts. Amen.